It looks like you've had a busy night. No big deal. She just had a baby on the side of the road. He was driving me to the hospital, and I went into labor. All right. Get her in three. He delivered my baby. I, I honestly don't know what I would have done if he hadn't. Epiphany. The paramedics checked him out at the scene. They said he's doing fine. <laughs> Thanks to you, Todd. <laughs> if it weren't for you, my son, Victor's son, died. The paramedics were right. Your baby's in excellent condition. <laughs> he couldn't be healthier if he'd been born here in the hospital. Could you take him to see a pediatrician? I mean, I'm sorry. It's, it's not that I don't believe you. It's just that when my baby was born, he didn't cry. He was barely breathing. He wasn't. No. Because his uh, lungs are perfectly fine. No, no, he, no. He, was, he was silent. He had to take him to get help. And did you find any? Or did you pull this miracle off by yourself? See, I, I'm not solely responsible for everything that's happened with this baby. I, I did have some help. Uh, yeah, Todd found this woman in the woods who helped revive the baby. I was so afraid I was going to lose him. I had this terrible feeling that he was gone. Tiffany, could you set up some tests in pediatrics? Right away. Thanks. This one lucky guy. Oof. Whoever that woman was did some pretty quick thinking. <laughs> yes, I'm very grateful to her. But he's the one who got him to her in time. He's the reason I'm holding my son in my arms right now. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm afraid if I take my eyes off of him, I'm scared he'll... <laughs> no, the worst is over. He survived. A little separation anxiety is natural, especially under the circumstances of your son's birth. Okay, we're gonna take this little one, and we're gonna put him through his paces. Okay, please it's be careful. Okay. It's okay. okay. I've had plenty of practice with babies, huh? Yeah. <laughs> She'll have him back real soon. Okay. In the meantime, you need to get some rest. Okay. Because under the circumstances, looks like you're not going to be getting any for the next 18 years. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> you came through. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I can't believe my baby's alive. <sighs> Thanks to you. <laughs> Taya thinks that the baby that she's holding is her own. Maybe it should be. What does that mean? Well, Sam and her husband aren't together anymore. He didn't want to raise a child that wasn't his. If I had to guess, I'd say that Sam was here to abandon her own child. I know a little something about that. And the woman out there, she already loves him. But... It's not her kid. Don't you see? It really is a miracle. They're both getting a second chance. Delgado? There's something I need to tell you. Sam! I know... what I took from you when I killed Fixer. Do you really want to bring this up right now? And there isn't anything in this world that I wouldn't do to make things up. To you. Sometimes I think there isn't anything you wouldn't do, period. Liking the sound of the. Why are you saying well, this? Just give me a second, what? all right? That, that this isn't easy for me. Todd, listen. My baby could have died tonight. Okay. I would have had to go on without Victor and without our son. So, no. You can't change the past, but you have changed the future. <laughs> there, there, there's, there's more. There's something I, I... Well, then what is it? Go ahead, tell me. What is it that you need to tell me? It's, it's probably Star. She doesn't know what happened to you. I, I should... Yeah, you should probably take it. Right? You should. Jordy? Dad, finally! Did you find Taya? I did. Turns out she had a really good reason for missing your hearing. Look, are you at the hotel? 
Yes, I'm here. Yeah, there's something that I need to sort out with Taya. But you stay put, okay? I'm gonna come meet you there as soon as I figure out how to get there from the hospital. The hospital? What happened? Uh, Taya had her baby. Dad, you're kidding me. Taya had her baby? Is it a boy or a girl? No, no, no. You know what? Don't, don't, don't tell me. I, I want to see when I get there. Dad, are Taya and her baby, baby okay? Uh... Yeah. Sorry, look, it, it's, it's been a really long night for, for everybody. Why don't you just stay put at the hotel? You come see Tay tomorrow. Okay, I'm, I'm on my way. All I know is that he is alive and he's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks to your father, believe it or not. After everything Todd's taken from us, now he's given us this. Maybe it's a sign that we can all start to heal. Yeah, I'll tell him, honey. Yo te quiero también. Good night, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Spreading the news already, huh? Well, I had to tell Danny that she's a new baby brother. She thanks you for saving his life, by the way. No star. Great. She's happy. She's really happy about the baby. Something's still on your mind. What is it you wanted to tell me before she called? Here he is, and what beautiful piece, as promised. I'm happy to report this little guy nabbed an A-minus on his exam. He almost had a perfect score, but he was slightly underweight. Is that maybe why he was born and not crying? Well, you know, getting born is hard work, so sometimes babies take a little nap right afterward. Pediatrics couldn't find a reason for it either. I mean, he's strong, he's perfectly healthy, but sometimes things like this happen when a baby's early. Except my baby was right on but time. He's, he's good now, though, right? That's that's what matters. That's right. Listen, enjoy your first night as mother and son, okay? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, we're alone again. Tell me what it is you wanted to tell me. Hi, hi, hi. I can't oh, so good. <laughs> Meet my son. <laughs> Beautiful little boy. <laughs> Nothing would stop him from making his entrance. <laughs> so sweet. And lucky. Lucky your father found us. <laughs> Toss the one who delivered him. <laughs> this woman just happened to be there in a shack in the middle of the woods. <laughs> yup. Yeah. I have no idea who she was. All that matters is that she and your father were able to save this little guy. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing about Dad. He always comes through. <laughs> Apparently Dad has something he wants to tell me, but he can't seem to spit it out. I'm really happy for you. You sure that's all? Isn't that enough? Come on, Star. Sleep till God to be happy. When I know just a stranger, sweet little boy. Todd. I don't. You okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for Taya. It's just looking at that baby reminds me of, reminds me of hope. Yeah, I know. I miss her too. So tell me. Tell you what? Tell me what you know about who really caused Cole and Hope's death. Michael says you know who really shot out Anthony Zakara's tires and that it wasn't Sonny. And that you used that as leverage to get Sonny to drop the charges against me? I did. All right, then. Who was it? What? Telling you isn't going to change anything. Well, if you don't tell me, then I'm going to have to start asking around, starting with Sonny. No. No, I don't want you anywhere near that gangster. Tell me. Don't you think our family's had enough secrets and lies? 
It wasn't Sonny who caused the accident. It was his girlfriend, Kate Howard. Then let me. Kate shot up into his car's tires. Oh. It's not even as simple as that. Kate was not in her right mind when she did it. 